Do you think they're gonna come? What if, in the end, no one shows up? Maybe nobody cares what's outside the school. Maybe everyone's happy with what they've learned in the school. At least there'll be two, I guess. Isabella. When she just got into the school, she was crying all the time and wanted to go home. Maybe she will come. <gasps> Verdin! Look outside! You gathered us all here. Are you going to hold out against the principal? What? Absolutely not. I've never thought of that. <sighs> That's a relief. I was so nervous. That was a harsh question you asked, Mesma. But thank goodness, sir. I'll be the first one out of here if it were a rebellion. This peace lover is not up against anyone. <laughs> <laughs> then what is it you want? We we came here in secrecy. I didn't expect so many of you. So many of you in school are just like the ring and me. Want to know more about the things outside. Those rumors, have you heard? Yet we are prohibited not only to say that word, but also to speak about anything related to the outside world. Our life is all about training, peace and mankind, nothing else. We have different hair colors, speak with different accents, and cast different arcane skills. But the student handbook asks us to forget about all these. It aims at eliminating our differences and ensuring conformity in the school. We have found some pamphlets with poems from the outside world printed on them. This is something we've never been taught in class. That poem inspired me with so many things. We are the chosen ones. We are meant to be the backbone of the primary defense for mankind. But all of you here today must still be curious about who you really are and what is in the world outside. We cannot leave here, but we can know the truth through another way. Fellow students, before entering the school, where did you live? What kind of life did you lead? Did people there cast incantations too? Did they like scorn just as we do? By piecing together our memories from all over the world, we can rebuild the very world outside. 
So that's how you know the world. This is the safest method we can think of, given that none of us are leaving school. Uh, I tuck some of these pamphlets in my pocket, and the stained glass balls an instructor left to me when he resigned. I'd say these are a part of the outside world. Shh! Silence! No one sees you for Matilda! Matilda Buanish. I am the most senior transfer student in this school. In fact, I was too senior to be taken in, if not for that special approval. <laughs> that is to say, I remember the outside world a lot more than you do. I... I'm Isabella. I was taken here at four. So, I don't remember much of the outside world. Hmm. I can recall Mother Superior used to like wearing floral dresses in pale blue and... We don't have much rain from where I grew up. The cloudless sky stretched out over our head and fell into the horizon. family has been psychologists for generations in the Arcanum world. Animal magnetism was invented by my grandfather's 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 grandfather. But I'm not interested in Arcanus. They're all mad people, and we had to treat them after all. They look scary. Oh, and there was a big football field near my house. Bare spots were on the turf everywhere, and there was also rust on the goals. Slow down! Slow down! What's football? And cool! I can't follow! Beautiful poem. I want to sing it. Sing it? How? To the melody of our school song. See, each word is well matched to the rhythm. Nor happiness, nor majesty, nor fame. Nor peace, nor strength, nor skills in arms or arts. My, they do go well together. Shepherd those herds whom blindness makes tame. There's echoes not one beating of the hearts. God, each syllable is joining the notes so well. Is this a sign revealed by destiny? Are we told to, told to? The singing of the great ceremony! <sighs> Impossible! We will definitely get caught! But in doing so, the big head will hear our voices! They will come to realize that we... We have this wish! They will understand us, won't they, Burton? After all... It is them who brought us up and you cared for us. <sighs> they may be upset. Or blame us. But... Let's give it a try. The 
a song. It sounds much better than it was before. if it were depicted solely in lines. A pale pillow that might not bring you sweet dreams. The light sheds in and fills half of the room. Oh, if you like it, I would suggest you go check your brain. Listen, I don't know whether you have an eye for art. To be honest, I wish you knew nothing just like me. Stop laughing like a fucking idiot. This undoubtedly is art. It's another art revolution in the 60s. Look what humans have done with the help of their little rational brain. Their philosophy intertwines with aesthetics, and together the two subjects stagger ahead till today, till the past. Then complexity replaced simplicity. One civilization prevailed another. Suddenly, one day, when they looked back at where they came from, they found what was left behind had turned into a bloated cadaver. Fortunately, it's not too late. The solution is simple. They first made light of the physical objects, then simplified concepts, and now they are wiping out emotions and forbidding metaphors. Everything has returned to the most substantial state. Let a square be just a square, nothing else. Indeed. Even a child knows how to do a subtraction this simple. Minimalism. I have to say, this is a good thing. It proves to the entire universe that the intelligent primates are not that incurable. It is adopted to shield us from agony and keep us away from the trap of consumerism. Minimalism is almost as nice as a vicious stepmother who tries to hide her ill intentions from the family. You sit tight and watch. Within years, the result of this continuous subtraction will be seen all over the planet. There will be trees again and the monkeys eat their fruits. To a brand new future, you dumbass. what's been practiced countless times. All right, just one thing. I will be home by 10 p.m.